Okay, here's some more problems from section 4.5. Now, these are dealing with the cosine. And these are kind of like uh, the first two we did with the sine. They want you to graph the, the cosine of x and then uh, the function they give you. So we'll graph the cosine in pencil. So this would be the cosine of x. y equals that. And it's the same idea. We divide our period. The period of the cosine is 2 pi like the sine in its normal basic position. And if we look over here for our cosine, uh, the cosine of uh, 0 now is 1, then 0, then negative 1, and then 0, then back to 1. So it's the same progression, but only it starts on 1, and then it follows the same pattern. So um, I'm going to call this 1, and this would be 2 negative 1, negative 2, and let's put the first of all just the cosine, we'll graph that in pencil. So the cosine of, of 0 is 1, and then you just follow the same progression, we go to 0, negative 1, back to 0, and back to 1, and this is our cosine graph. So it looks like that. So that's y equals the cosine of x. And then the graph they, they have for number uh, 40, for 31 is y equals 2 cosine of x. So that would be this, y equals 2 cosine of x. So that's the same thing except my period is 2, so I just put the numbers in. We start at 2, and then remember the zeros are the same. We only have two zeros on this one rather than three. And we've got like that, except, excuse me, this goes down here, pardon me. Jump the gun here, okay? So instead of 1, I go to 2. Okay, that's all. And then we just sketch it. So it'll be a little steeper. Because it has the same zeros, you see. Because the period is the same. And there you go. So there's your cosine of 2x, period of amplitude 2. Same period, 2 pi. No, oh, sorry, here you go. You can see that? Get that dark a little bit. And it's kind of sketchy. You kind of smooth it in. Because I'm not using curves to do these. I'm just kind of sketching these freehand. Okay, so there you go. Cosine of x, cosine of, or 2 cosine of x, all right? And then on number 33, the same thing, except we're going to do negative. So first of all, let me do the cosine of x. And again, this is 1, 2, negative 1, and negative 2. And I think it's going to be, the other one's going to be cosine of negative 2x. So let's put the cosine of x in. And again, this starts at 1, 0, negative 1, 0, 1. So you can put those in pretty fast. Cosine starts at 1, sine starts at 0. Okay, there you go. And now we've got negative 2. So this is what we want over here. y equals negative 2 cosine of x. So instead of 1, we multiply 1 by negative 2. So it just becomes this. Our zeros are the same, so I can mark those in. And this, instead of being negative 1, times negative 2 is positive 2, so I put that there. Okay? And instead of being 1, this is, this is going to be negative 2, so I put that there, and I'm ready to go. And these, these always match, just like in the sign. So there you go. There's the cosine of x, and there's negative 2 cosine of x. All righty. So that's 45, I'm sorry, 4.5, number 31 and 33. And number 35, we've got a uh, period shift, so let's see if we can get this in here. 
uh, 35. Uh, they tell you that we want y equals the cosine of 2x, so y equals the cosine of 2x. So the amplitude would be 1, it's just that the period's going to be, well, there's a b there, so remember period, same thing, period equals 2 pi over b, which is 2 pi over, and b is 2, so well, that's just pi. To make it interesting, I'll just make my, I, I, you know, I, I, well, I'll try to keep the same scale. So it makes a little more sense to you. So this is pi, so you can compare it. This is pi. So I'll call this pi. And then we'll divide that in two to get pi over two, because we have to divide it in four parts, okay, like before. And it's a regular amplitude of one. And if I can make it like this one over here, just to make it match, I guess. and negative one. I'd probably make it up a little bit higher so it'd be prettier. So this is pi over two. And I split that, that'd be pi over four. And this would be three pi over four. And then we just put our points in and the cosine and, and again the cosine of zero is one. And then we have zero then negative one. and zero, then back to one. So there's your cosine relative to that cosine. That's what it looks like. It goes steeper because we take half as much time to make one whole period. So I try to do as many of these to scale to something else uh, as, as I can because, like I said, if you change your graphing scale, you could make them all look exactly, almost exactly the same. Well, probably exactly the same, actually, yeah. There you go. So that's that. So this is y equals the cosine of 2x. You see we've got our cosine. It's just that our period. This is the, you know, this is the regular, and then we just squinch it down. So by exactly half. Okay. And remember, musically, if we had pitch, uh, this the pitch of this would actually be, or the would be actually twice. Well, actually, it it would be an octave higher than this. Okay.